you just put your stuff, your shoes are so cheap. No, that's fine. I bought my older, dirtier shoes. Oh, okay. Okay, so um, I might have to get you to go down a ladder. Are you okay with that? Sure. <clears throat> Good to go outside for that? Let me see if the ladder is there. If not, I'll have to move that over. But, uh, is there an entrance from the bottom? It, there is. Should, the stairs haven't been installed yet. Should we go through the bottom? So how long will it take for this home to be built? I think it's going to be starting to be excavated in October. Okay. So we'll probably be done in June. Okay. So that's about... Eight months? Eight months, yeah. Ah, yeah. and that's norm, right? That's the norm, yeah. If you keep on top of the trays, usually... Mm -hmm. it's too long. So what kind of strategies or tips do you have to keep on top of the trays? Be to here get them every on? day. Ah. Be here every day. Um, not every day, but if you know a new trade is coming. Yeah. Because trades all talk to each other, and my trades know me. If they are here working, then I'm cleaning the site. Um, not the fact that I'm a very good cleaner because yeah. I hate cleaning. It's just that I don't want to stand here and look like I'm watching them, like that I'm doing something. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And so I'm moving around lumber and, you know, tidying things up and yeah, sweeping, yeah, and yeah. then they can see that okay well she's actually not just here to boss us around and they are able, like yeah. they give me more respect that yeah, way yeah, yeah. too get your hands dirty and exactly and yeah. then this way they find that i'm more approachable because i've worked with them like we're side by side working yeah. although not doing the same thing yeah yeah for sure but still working and then now you know they'll send me like text messages and so now we're more friends Good. instead of boss and employee yeah, yeah, yeah. and then this way they'll come I go hey you guys you know what I really need your help I yeah. need this deadline because my next trade is coming in I need to get this done this week and they'll go okay okay I'll come awesome so that's awesome. kind of how I approach Sweet. things it's a soft approach um, work. all right three to one that's the ladder Sorry? That's the ratio. Rise over run is three to one. So okay. That's the safest ratio when you put your ladder down. Okay. So three to one meaning? Three up, going up mm. and then one. That's the ratio. Okay, I right? see. Rise over run. Okay. So if your ladder is like this, then you're going to tip over. Yeah. If your ladder is like this way, you're just going to slide all the way to okay. the other Right? So it's okay. this way. Ice. All right. So I'll go down first and sure. then I'll laugh. You'll catch me if I fall. Yeah. All right. All right. Camera? Uh, should be okay, I think. All right, let's see. Let's do this. Like so. Day, it's yeah, I a don't. Little, you get leery, but I do yeah. it every day, so okay. Just, so this is kind of the basement suite. Okay. Open oh, it's high ceiling. It's nine foot ceiling, so it's the same ah, height. It does make a difference. And that's why I was so adamant on keeping <laughs> the middle of the main floor nine yeah. feet. Um, and people are like, "Oh, well, your foyer is too small. It's not grand, but." This so is the kitchen. Have, this is the kitchen. Yeah. So we have With all, all our the plugs and low voltage under cabinet lighting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, everything. And then we have a little island here. Yep. Dining area. Nice. Um, nice. TV. We've left in the TV. It'll have to be a wall mount. Ooh, Something. wall mount. Yeah. That'd be nice. And well, when you build your own house, you can do whatever you want. Laundry. So okay. that's roughed in for. Um, Washer and dryer, and then two little. Ah, and here's the washroom, four piece bath. Four piece bath. And then it's a two bedroom suite. It's a legal suite. Oh. So it's two bedrooms. Oh, nice. That's only. You're only allowed two bedrooms. Okay. Like a certain size. So okay. we've maximized the windows, we've maximized the height, we've yeah. maximized the, uh, the daylight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the windows are huge. For a basement suite? 
The it's windows nice are and big. Bright, right? Yeah, it's nice and bright. Mm. Secondary mean, bedroom. You know, for also for resale value too, right? If a mm -hmm. family wants to all chip in. Look at that. That's everybody has window. their own living quarters. Yeah. Um, we've made extra effort with soundproofing mm -hmm, in the mm -hmm. ceiling because by code you don't need to put insulation on the ceiling. Only insulation on around the perimeter exterior walls. Yeah. But we have insulation all up here. So where would the stairs be? Up here where we can dump. Oh, so it would be a separate, it's yeah. not connected to the house. Well, we can't because uh, according to the bylaws, mm -hmm. you need a fire separation, oh, right? Okay. So if there's a fire that happens down here, yeah. it needs to be contained. So Correct. all of the drywall that is used here and anywhere that's attached to the main floor mm -hmm. is a special drywall. Mm -hmm. So it's thicker, it's fire resistant, and even all the venting and all the ducts are completely separate systems mm. from the main house. Okay. So basically, and that's what a legal suite is. Yeah. Right? And you have your own gas meter, or not your gas mm -hmm, meter, but you mm -hmm. have your own hydro meter. Okay. Right? So other than the radiant heating mm -hmm. that's under the slab, it doesn't affect your um, fire safety. Okay. But really, again, it's safety, right? You have yeah. two different people living in the same dwelling, mm -hmm. so it needs to be treated as two separate units. Okay, okay. And so, off record, Sweet. Um, I, there's, if I can open up a door there, yeah. it leads to the third bedroom and an ensuite on ah. the other side. So I can convert this into a three bedroom if I need it yeah, yeah. in the future. Yeah, yeah, if the seller wanted to or whatever. Right, exactly. The owner. Yeah. The owner, cool. right? Like this way, I don't know, I guess. <clears throat> There's just more flexibility. Yeah. So I guess what's all of, another thing that's special about this house is the foundation. If you mm. look there. Yes. Um, it's foam. Okay. As opposed to. Cement. Okay. So what it is is um, it's extra insulated. It's called an ICF foundation. ICF stands for Insulated Concrete Forms. Okay. So what that is is um, there's foam on either side of this concrete that's in the middle and it gives us a really really high R value which is so R value meaning um, it keeps heat in okay right so the new step code yeah. wants um, wall assemblies to achieve a performance of R22 mm -hmm. the insulated concrete forms is R24 so it actually okay. goes above and beyond the nice. current regulations so, I mean, everybody's going green these days. We want to save on um, electricity bill. We want yeah. to save on all of that. So this is a really good start. And the cost is not that much higher. Uh. The thing is, not, not all builders and framers know how to use it. Okay. Because now you have all this foam inside. How are you going to wire your wires through the studs? <clears throat> Mm. So sometimes we need a little bit of planning in yeah. advance yeah. to do the ducting and to do yeah. the wiring. Mm -hmm. But other than that, it's an awesome product. Nice. Nice. Awesome. Cool. Well, what would this space be used for? I think storage. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Or, um, so we're going to do soft, like there'll, there'll be soffits on top. Right? Okay. Okay. Um, they can do uh, dining, like patio, a a barbecue? storage, a barbecue, yeah, yeah. anything they want. Nice. But I don't know. What do you think? You're the realtor. I you see home barbecue. stage. I will say a barbecue and right. storage. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I could move a shed down here or something. No. Bar like, barbecue yeah. would be nice. Yeah. Well, I'm going to make a gazebo out here Ooh, and a fire okay. pit. Yeah. So, um, Ooh, that would be nice. I'm hoping maybe we can keep the barbecue out. Okay. <laughs> okay. But uh, excuse the mess. Do you want me to grab it up before we go uh, in time? It's okay. Good? Okay. Right. Well, the open houses that oh, yeah. we look at. Totally, totally. But in uh, three months, I'll have you back. Yes. It'll be Thank totally you. different. Yes. Um, yeah, so this is kind of the. Backyard, watch your mm -hmm. step with okay. mud. Um, so landscaping hasn't been done yet. Yep. So we can't do any of the stairs because we haven't graded. Okay. So we need the final grade. And when you say graded, what does that mean? It just means where the soil meets the house. Yes. So relative what the grade is. Um, okay. And then uh, everything is leveled, but we still need to 
do pour the concrete sidewalk. Okay. There'll be a, and then there will be grass behind yeah. that, right? Yeah. And then we'll be. Where would the gazebo be? Right where you're standing. Ooh. A 10 by 10 gazebo. So. Nice. Uh, kind of my thought is downstairs, upstairs. If there's two families, everybody can use this open space. Yeah. Um, and then there's going to be a fire pit. So Ooh. stairs coming down this way. Okay. And this area will be gravel with the fire okay. pit. Nice. And so you'll have half the yard with grass. Yeah. And half the yard kind of uh, entertainment area. Nice. Double glazed windows. Of course. <laughs> that's the uh, that's the requirement the these days. Yeah. Not triple glazed yeah, though. Yeah. Because, because usually those are for like busy streets. Yeah, and also um, the cost. Yeah. Right. There's a lot more expensive. For the energy savings, mm -hmm. if you have an airtight house mm -hmm. with you know radiant heating and a good envelope, mm -hmm. good insulation, I don't see um, the need for triple glaze unless it's special circumstances yeah. or if you're building, you know, something like a passive house or a net zero okay. where there's like stringent, stringent yeah. Um, yeah. criteria. Right. So nice, for, nice. For an everyday house, for okay. everyday, you know. Vancouverite, something like this is more than enough, yeah. and more than comfortable. Mm. Nice. Just so the soft, uh, the fascia needs to be painted. Okay. Um, so all of this is, uh, they're gonna do, they're gonna fill up all the gaps. With okay. The caulking, so the yeah. caulking, and then they're okay. gonna paint everything. So everything's gonna be nice and new. Um, give it a good wipe down, some power washing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, are you wearing steel toe boots? I am not. Are you they, supposed to? They're in my car. <laughs> um, and uh, so, no, I am supposed to. Oh, okay. But, uh, not today. That's fine. Nobody's going to report you. Yeah. <laughs> and the framing is done. Mm -hmm. So there aren't a lot of nails. But always mm. watch, watch your step. For sure, I'm watching. Accidents always happen. All right. There's going to be a generator here. Nice. So generators for here. In case the power goes out or okay. if there's an apocalypse, then oh. it's going to be a, right. a gas power generator. Nice. Um, and then it's going to link be linked to a few key circuits in the house, mm -hmm. like the fridge, the stove, a few lights. Um, okay. And most importantly, the pump. Because a lot of the times when there's a storm, the power goes out. Yeah. It's torrential rain. Uh. And then our basement is low. Yeah, so where is the pump? The water table will rise mm -hmm. and the basement's gonna flood. That's right. So the chances of that happening are pretty slim, but you just never know. Yeah. It's always nice to have a backup generator. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I think the air conditioning is gonna go on that side too. Okay. So basically, there's nine feet of walkway. Um, nice. We're gonna drainage, gutters, um, cable, the two. Suite, so the main house mm -hmm. meter and then the legal suite meter. Nice, nice. Okay. All right. Um, that's about it. All right. Gonna flip it around. Hey guys, if you like that, I would like you to comment below, subscribe. Hey and. Uh, Mimi's contact information will be in the description below so contact her if you have any other home building questions and oh, hey I will see you guys in the next video thanks guys